Hello everyone, my name is Kate and welcome back to Coral Island. If you missed last episode, make sure you check it out. It's linked up there for you. I forgot which side it's going to be. I feel like everyone always says that, but I legitimately did. Anyways, if you missed last episode, make sure you go check it out. Link is up there for you. We basically got to the island, met a whole bunch of attractive singles and started a little bit of farming. Today, hopefully we can make some money and find out more about what life is like on the island. Let's get started. So we left off. We were in our quest to make a flower bouquet. Um, we needed some more flowers, so let's go ahead. That's, I think, the first thing I'm going to do, maybe? Oh, wait. Hold on. What's going on over here? So it doesn't look like they're ready to harvest quite yet. They've had a big growth spurt since the last time that we saw them. Is there anything else I need to throw in here? I'll keep the flowers because I'll need that to craft. Oh, wait. Hold on. Go back, and I'll put the wood in here, too, because I don't think I need it. Need that. Okay, so we need three more flowers. Let's go see if we can find some. Like here's one along with a little bug, but I can't bother him. Oh, I do have a net actually. Wait, I do have it on me. Oh, let's try to catch our first bug. How is it gonna work? I can't see him. Of course, of course. And I can't turn the camera. Where did you go? Wait, got it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't even see what I was doing. We got a red admiral. It's not actually red, despite the name. Love that for us. Heck yeah. So we can go, I think they said we could donate them to the museum. Or I wonder if we could sell them. There's another one. Oh, there's no like aiming. Oh, I'm, you know what? Don't worry about it. You go on and live your best life, butterfly. <laughs> go be free. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to get used to um, aiming. I'm not great at that apparently. So we still need a couple more flowers. There's one. And then one more. Oh, hello. I don't think we've been over here yet. Oh, this is, yeah, it's like right behind our house, but I, have I met them? Walter, our neighborhood farmer. So what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, I don't know. Had we met them before? Y'all, I slept since I played last, so, you know. I thought it was Connor. Okay, never mind. Hold on, hold on. Two seconds. My brain was like, that's the stinking mayor. Of course we met him. Uh, but no. Walter. Walter is a former high-powered lawyer. He now owns the Hillside Manor and the Vineyard. Okay, so we had not met them yet. Oh, uh, we can just like rummage through his trash while we're here. Don't worry about it. Oh, we got a fish? A black phantom ghost fish? You just had that in your trash? Bestie. Oh, inventory's full. It's okay. Oh, hello? We're not welcome here. What's happening? Oh! <gasps> Upper fish, save the island. Karen. Okay. Hello, all. We've got passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town at. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. Oh, dang, Betty's coming for ya. We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Miss Betty. The drama. Get him, Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. Oh, snap. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. Oh, goodness. I'm afraid it isn't up to you. But yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. The gaslighting. We don't need your dirty... If I may, red shirt... Karen, please, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lakes and across the beach. See where I'm going here? I do. You're terrible. Get out of here. I just got here, but get out. I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town. You see, creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you will all see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier, inside fishing ships. 
enjoying life. Red shirt. Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this uh, charming little island. I hate her so much. Let us bail you out, expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. Absolutely not. By bailout, do you mean drilling around the island? Upper Fish's investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. Oh my god. <laughs> Folks, let's cool our heads. Nothing won't be solved if we act out of emotion. Actually, no, absolutely. Let's just, we're many, she is one. Take her down. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. What the heck? Hello. I'm gonna go beat you up. Oh no, you're coming to me? Good. I can get ready to swing. Kate, right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused. You don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. Kate, this island is dying. We both know it, these people. They're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. <laughs> Anyways, back to flower picking before I, um, rip her head off. What the heck, though? Can't even use your stupid golf course. What good are you? Okay, I'm gonna find this last flower and then I'll get on to whatever that nonsense was. So I figured I could go donate some stuff to the museum and that'll clear up inventory and take care of all that. So we're going here now. Hello. Oh, I know. It looks sad. Don't worry. I got you. I got one whole fish and a bug. You're going to be so excited. <laughs> oh, no, bestie. Scott. No, they haven't magically returned. Oh, hello there. You're Kate, right? I'm sorry you caught me at a bad time, but just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Thanks, Kate. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it was not empty like this. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was gonna sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's a feeling that I'm not used to. The one thing I was good at that made me feel useful was going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra funds to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. Oh my goodness. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm gonna do next. That's when I realized I had two options. Am I going to continue the pity party or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now that this town isn't an immediate crisis? Dang. That's right. I'm going to rebuild the collection. Heck yeah, you are. I'm going to help you, bestie. By the way, Kate, I've heard some things about you. What? Wait, what? People tell me you're good at fi- Am I? I just got here. <laughs> No, I'm not too bad at myself, but I could certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? I can bring anything? Well, not anything. We have a list of items we want to display. Things like historical artifacts, fossils, critters, sea creatures, and so on. Just drop by whenever and we'll see if anything in your bag can be displayed in the museum. Excellent! So, what do you say, Kate? Want to help me fill the museum with treasures of the island? Absolutely. That's what I like to hear. Beautiful. All right. Uh, donate an item. Yeah, I can do that. Donate item. We'll donate the Ed Admiral and the Black Phantom Ghost Fish. Excellent. So it looks like you do get rewards the more that you donate. So that's awesome. Let's complete. Empty no more. Let's go. So where did our fish go over here? Where's our fish? <gasps> there it is. It's swimming around. Oh, she's as she smacks the glass. Oh my gosh. So I've got a whole little section for fossils. Big deep sea fish over here. And then is our bug. <gasps> There's our little bug. Look we'll at him on the tree. And he's got a little friend. You. Well, that proved to be useful. We emptied out a little bit of our storage space that we needed. And we were able to open up the museum and get some stuff back in there. I just need one more flower. And then we'll have that quest done. Got it. We got a violet. So now let's come over here and we can craft our 
See, okay, <laughs> that's a gripe that I have. If I'm going to craft something and I have inventory, like I should be able to, I'm using five things to create one thing. So it should, you know, it's fine. We just need to get more storage, obviously. Let's get back home so I can empty the rest of this out. Okay, let's try that again. Flower bouquet. Equip the item you'd like to give. Okay. Approach the character you want to surprise. Give bouquet. Okay, cool. Who should we give our first gift to then? I feel like that's like, that's a big thing. Oh, goodness. Okay, who do we have? Who do we have? We have a whole bunch of people. Oh, I have no idea. And unfortunately, I'm recording this second episode. Wait, it's Jocko's birthday. <gasps> we can go give him some flowers. Find the NPC. Okay, you're over there. That works. I was going to say I'm recording it, though, before I post it. So I don't know who you all think we should romance. So I can't even, like, start that up already. But gift. Gift flower bouquet to Jocko. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. You really don't need to get me anything for my birthday. I got you, bestie. Part of the reason Dinda and I moved here is so that we can enjoy the beauty of nature. But with pufferfish here, sigh. Aw, yay! Sam's is already closed. I need to get much better at time management, apparently. I am not good at that at all. Like, I need to have a plan in place before I start the day because... We're just wasting time. I guess what we'll do then is I'm going to eat some of the candied tree seed just to get our energy back up. And then we'll work on gathering some stones since that's the last thing we'll need for our house upgrade. And it's like all I pretty much feel like I can do. There we go. Perfect. So now we can visit... Yoko tomorrow and let him know that, hey, we've got some more stuff for our house. Let me see. I don't think the carpenter is open right now. Someone we don't know up there. That's really close, actually. Let's see if we can go meet whoever this is. Um, again, I don't think the carpenter's open this late. Kind of like mosey our way on up the road and see what, what we find. Did they move? Yes, they're literally running away from me. <laughs> They're probably not. They're probably just going home and I'm just sitting here chasing them. Hello? Kenny! Oh, hi, Kenny. You're Kate. I heard about you. I heard you're looking for some fresh air away from the city. Yeah. Well, hello, Kenny. Nice to nice to meet you. You are single, too. Kenny has always lived on Coral Island his whole life and has fostered close relationships with the other islanders, people, animal trees, spirits from beyond and all of them. Ooh. In touch with nature. Love it. <laughs> See if I can catch that. No, those are fast little buggers. Okay, that's fine. Where is the carpenter? No, Joko's home, so... I don't believe we can get there. What time do they open? 9 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. Go there first thing in the morning. Let's see. I wonder if we could go. It's 9.20. Um, I don't know if we could get to the tavern. Well, not if you go the wrong way. <laughs> It's literally going to be like, I don't know if I can get to the tavern in time to actually like socialize or meet any people, but obviously if I'm going to go the completely wrong way, we're not going to be able to do that. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to sell these mushrooms and then we'll go put our stone in here as well as the fiber and I'll put this. Uh, no, I'll keep, I caught, I caught a ladybug. I don't know if I showed you all that or not, but We'll keep the ladybug on us then so I can donate that first thing in the morning too, like when we're over with the general store. I guess I'll just do some cleanup. I know that's not like super exciting, but got us down to eight stamina. So we'll go ahead, we'll put up anything else I got and then we're gonna go to bed. We got scrap, glass, compost, some more fiber and some trash. Bedtime. So we upped our relationship with Joko by giving him a birthday present. Um, we did get some money from foraging, so let's heck and go, and let's start the next day. 
So we need, we can't go to the carpenter until nine. So, hello? Oh, that was our money coming in. I was like, what was that? Oh, it's raining. Hello? Mark. Hi, Mark. Um, hello? Y yes, good morning. I'm Mark. You're the new farmer. I know. Okay, I'm here to give you some info. All right. Um, the cavern northwest of here is now open right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed. Yes, it was closed and now it's open. Catch any of that? Dang. Okay, Mr. Sassy Pants. The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the band of, the band of smiles? Cleared up the top level of the cavern. It's safe to roam. No monsters anymore. Oh, yeah, because we heard some, like, fighting. Just don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you there. Monsters. It is dangerous. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. Okay. Ooh, angry. Shh. Waste of time. Oh, my gosh. Well, goodbye to you, Mr. Grumpy Puss. What the heck? Oh, and of course you're single. Grumpy. Mark is a member of the VOS, an international group of hunters. He volunteers at the... An okay, maybe not so grumpy. He volunteers at the animal shelter in his free time. Stop. I love a little bit of grumpy sunshine. Maybe, maybe that's... Maybe Mark's not so bad. Oh, we can harvest. <gasps> Yay! Let's harvest our plants. We got some daisies, a turnip... And we needed to go to Sam's anyway, so we can see if we can give him some of this produce. I love it when a plan comes together. Heck yes! Let's see, do we get anything um, completed? Rewards, 100 bucks. That should get us our backpack expansion. Okay, let's see. When do, when do the stores open? I know the carpenter's nine, Sam's is nine too. Dang, and I don't have any other seeds, I don't believe. No. All right, well, let's go see then. Let's just go into town. Maybe there's some people we can talk to. It's raining, but I don't think people will be as out and about. I'm going to go ahead and grab these flowers just so we can sell those too. It's a moth. Oh, oh. Dang, they are fast. I got to be, I got to be quicker than that. Who's over here? Hello? What was that? Oh, Violet? Give me it. We'll talk to you. See how you felt about being singled out by Karen. I still can't believe that pufferfish lady called me red shirt. Right, bestie? That was awful. The Cherry Blossom Festival is happening soon over by the lake. It's a whole day get together. Barbecue thing. That sounds so cute. Pufferfish better not ruin it. Oh, hi, grumpy. I don't care about all these oil talk. I'll care when they can supply us with better weapons and amenities. Okay. Jeez. Seems like you should care maybe a little bit, bestie. All right. Let's go donate an item. We'll donate a lady beetle. Yay. Now we should have... There it is. There's a little ladybug. So cute. I love it. That was one of my favorite things about Animal Crossing, which I wouldn't mind getting back to playing. Uh, Animal Crossing was actually like New Horizons was my my first foray into Animal Crossing. And so I would really like to go back and start over now that I know a little bit more about how to play. So let me know if you'd like some Animal Crossing content here on the channel, because that could be fun. Sam's is still closed. We only have... Oh, Literally, there's everyone going to work. Hello, Jim. Of course, the newcomer is a distasteful and damaging oil drilling company. This is why you don't trust outsiders. Uh, is that pointed at me, bestie? Hi, Lily. My brother told me about what happened with pufferfish. Disappointing. If you can do an errand, grow me something. Looking for one turnip? Hey, bestie. I have a turnip. I can give you a turnip. I have one. I grew it with my two hands. Yuri, love me. Where are you? You're, oh wait, that was me. That's where I was. Where is Yuri? Yuri is over here at her house. We're just following Jim. Don't bother me. I'm just an outsider, but not a harmful one. <laughs> wait, is Millie, or Yuri actually at her house? 
I didn't even check that. Yuri, where are you? Find NBC. Oh, you are at home. Okay. Cool. Can I come in? Oh, hi, kitty. Peanuts. And who are you? Butter. <laughs> Not the cats being named Peanut and Butter. Oh, man. I don't have... Listen, I want to nap with the cat. That is the best possible outcome of me. Like, like no, that's all I need to do today. I thought you said Yuri was home. You lied. I'm just in her house with the cats. Goodbye. <laughs> Maybe I just missed her. Maybe because we're in the wrong dang house. I don't know whose house that was, but they had cute cats. Is this the correct home? I don't know. We'll find out. Yes. Hello. Eddie is a strong woman, but even so, I didn't think it was a good idea for her to attend the pufferfish opening. Yeah, no. Give quest item. Give turnip. Thank you. Let's go. I need to swing by Sam's and grab a few things. Our fridge is practically empty this morning. Gotta stock up. Heck yeah. Let's hecking go. Had an apple for breakfast. What about you? I had avocado and eggs and sausage. I thought we had nothing at home until I found a couple of apples from who knows when. Oh, well, it tasted fine. Millie, did you know I was just about to write a piece on the harms of oil drilling companies and now one appeared right in our home? Well, Bestie, it sounds like you should get writing. Get the public outraged. We're going to we're going to kick him out. Don't worry. Let's go to Sam's and then we'll go to the carpenter. There's a snail. Wait, I can't catch it. My inventory's full. We can claim that. We got 80 and then it looks like we got some like metal or a ward or something. Let's see if we could upgrade bag. 500. I have the money. Thank you. And then I want to see if we could potentially sell you turn up daisies. And I'll sell you these, these, these that I found. Sell all of them. There we go. Heck yeah, let's go. So now we can buy some more stuff. So daisies take four days, four days, four days. Five days, seven days, grass starter, fertilizer. Wow, okay. So I think let's just go ahead. We'll get six flowers and then we'll get two, three. Get like five turnips and then five potatoes, five carrots, get five cauliflower. And we'll get two fertilizer. See, you like that, Sam? We get you gave us money, and then we literally spent all of it here. <laughs> um, hello, Eva. We haven't met you yet. Oh, nice to meet you too. My name's Everest, Eva for short. Oh, that's beautiful. And I don't know. That's Emily. I want to say I'm surprised Pufferfish moved in, but I'm not. Life is unfair sometimes. Dang. So we're all against it. And there's Lily. Dale gets stomach aches every time he drinks milk. He hates it. Oh, wait, that's adorable. Hi, Noah. It's not good for mama to get worked up like that other day. Oh, gotcha. So Betty's your mom. Dang. And do we know we met them? Anne. Hello. Good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm? Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. Cool. So we did get to meet a couple new people. So that is excellent. Let's go get to the carpenter and see if we can get that house up upgrade going. Oh my gosh. What happened here? I don't understand what it says. Yikes. Okay. I love how though we've got that terrible tragic tree over there and then we've got this beautiful walkway right here that I had not seen yet. Wow. All right, we're going to get to the carpenter. <laughs> Hopefully before they close. Only two, so we should be good. Okay, we made it. The rain is picking up. Hello. Good to see you too. Repair my house. Uh, house upgrade. Oh, did I have to have it with me? I was bamboozled by the crafting, not needing it. I will be right back. Okay, so fun fact, besties. Apparently, at some point, I sold some of the wood. 
So I only have 36 wood. So I don't know if I'll be able to gather. I mean, I'm sure I will, but I don't know if I'll be able to gather it before they close. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that real quick. Five o'clock. Oh, we may have missed it. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Well, now I have it for tomorrow. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and plant our seeds then. Dang it. We have just enough to fill up that plot and then we'll do like a secondary little like flower garden over to the side. I think that'll be super cute. And the best part about this is since it's raining, I don't have to water them all today. It looks like fertilizer only works for one. So we'll just use it on those. I don't know if that was the correct choice or not, but that's what I did. And then I want to see if maybe um, I can craft like maybe a little fence. I can. Oh, that's the what I needed for tomorrow. But you know what? It's okay. We'll we'll use it for this, and then I. It's not like I can't get more wood tomorrow. So I, can I close this off? I could, but I don't think I like it. Can I get that back? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's all I can really do there. I don't want to use too much more. How much more wood do I have to get now? Not that much. Just a little bit more. And we can stand to be a little bit more tired before going to bed. It's still early. Okay, just got the it's getting late notification and I did do a little bit of like clearing up there. So we've got the first kind of half of the farm looking a little bit more put together. So, and we got a whole lot more wood. So tomorrow we should be able to get our house repaired, which is super exciting. Ooh, so we've got some new craftables. So we have plus three maximum stamina. We leveled up farming level one. Let's go. We can now do a makeshift scarecrow and we can got one fertilizer. Cute. We also got foraging level one. So that increased our stamina and now we can craft the candy tree seeds instead of just finding them. We made no money, but honestly, totally fine. We're not in it for the money. <laughs> All right. So now we, we can't go. I don't think it's Saturday. Let me see what, what are their hours Saturday? Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, do I just go back to bed? Closed on Saturdays. It's fine. Fine. Not worried about it at all. No big deal. Absolutely okay. No worries. Let me just put all of that back. My gosh. Well, uh, let's water our plants then to start out the day. All right, now that our chores are out of the way, let's see what's going on. We did get some new craftables. There's a cute little scarecrow, which we totally could actually make. Um, why not? Let's just make a scarecrow and let's just plop. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. So, hold on. Can I put him right there. There we go. Cute little baby. And then, so I'm guessing potentially, I don't know if it's just for looks or if we actually have a potential of birds. I'm not sure. I'm going to build maybe like a couple of these. Wood. No more than I have to. I just want to see what these look like. Like if I just did a cute little like... Oh, that is cute. Sort of. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to that. Oh, I can't remove them. Really? There's no way for you to undo that? But I put... I can't even put wood over them. Besties! Oh no! Hold on. How do I remove path? I was like, oh no! Like, it's not that I don't like it there. I just didn't want to, like, leave it. Okay. Those are cute. We definitely can use those for something later on. Let's go. Oop. Oh, our chest is full. Okay. Let's make another little chest then. We can do that. We need more trash, though. I'm sure there's trash somewhere on the farm. That's one thing I wish I had realized sooner is that... There is trash on the farm as well as like in the town. Sorry, I need to focus on where I'm running because apparently I'm not doing. I <laughs> I can't do two things at once, confirmed. Um, but I didn't realize there were these like giant patches of farm of giant patches of farm, giant patches of trash already on the farm. And so I was going through town 
trying to find some trash, which like, yes, I should pick up the trash in town too, but at least I had some readily available here already to kind of craft. Ooh, we got another coffer. Okay, so now at least we can go to the blacksmith today, get that opened, and see what goodies we have, and then we can craft us another chest. All right, perfect. Let's go to, wait, is the blacksmith closed today too? Like, don't get me wrong, everybody deserves their weekends, but time is, moves very quickly. <laughs> Uh, closed on Sunday. Okay, so we can go to the blacksmith. Where are you at? Offer fish. There's two townies there. The lab, the general store. There's a whole bunch of people over here hanging out. Interesting. Community center. There's also people I don't know. There's still townies that I haven't met. Are you kidding me? Okay, so that is over there. So we just go into town and then up slowly learning the map. I can't believe there are still people that I haven't met though. We are what, like two hours in and there are still several characters by the, oh, got another, oh, okay, what's going on? Hi Connor. Hey there, Kate, it's good to see you. I'm just heading to Raj's coffee. Are you here to socialize? Um, sure, we could do that. Yes, by the way, what's with the pufferfish scene? No, can you tell me about Karen? Yes and no, who's pufferfish? Um, let's just ask the first one. Ah, the scene, yeah. It's easier if I show you. Oh, okay. Backstory! Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. Oh no, you can't get your coffee to go, bestie. <laughs> can I bring you coffee? Oh. See that large F on the town rank board? Yeah, that's F. Oh gosh, okay. It didn't happen suddenly though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet's town A rank and A, Kate. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F until, <sighs> I need to sit down to tell you what happened. Oh my gosh. Judge Ross, that's correct, Mayor, as usual. Every season we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. Visitors come here to see your museum, heritage sites, and ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these attractions at the time of review. Today we are awarding Starlet Town with a rank of F. Oh man. Say what? Oh, and then Karen said, hey besties, hello. Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I think it's an inside job. I found the perfect location. It's an inside job. Someone did something somewhere to make this happen. And I'm gonna find out who. And we're gonna have a talk at the pier. Last year, an oil spill from a neighboring island made its way here and wreaked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time, those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new pufferfish building. Their plan to rescue us out is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, ocean, and heritage sites is hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town used to be good, Kate. Great, even. Business was booming. The town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town's rank back to A and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no choice but to work with pufferfish. Refilling the museum seems straightforward and achievable. It will just take time. But healing the sick heritage sites and getting rid of those stubborn roots in the ocean? Where do we even start? How do we even start? I got you. I've got you, Connor. Our town is in a difficult position. A lot to take in, I know. How about you join me for coffee? The walk in fresh air will do us both good. Oh. What just happened? Is everything all right? Um, maybe. Interesting. We'll have to come back and look at that here in a minute. Showcases your overall progress towards revitalizing the town. Raise the town's rank by improving the ocean, the museum, and the heritage. We can do it! <laughs> Hello? 
Oh, hello, Antonio. Yeah. Ah, the new resident. Hi. You are fabulous. And not single. Oh, Antonio is Suki's ex-husband. <gasps> and Valentina's dad. No, he owns the White Flamingo Boutique. While he's in Starlet Town, he stays at the end. Oh, wow. So Suki's ex. And Suki is Alice's twin. Dang, okay. Hello. Mrs. Snow yet? Absolutely not. I do not. Mm -mm, not at all. Not a snow girly. Wait. Oh. <gasps> Yoga, that's so cute. Leah is busy and can't talk right now. Look at the puppies doing yoga. Are you busy too? Taco was busy. That's right, you are, Taco. Good boy. You do your yoga. Oh my god, that's adorable. Give me all trash, please, and thank you. But I wind up going the wrong way. Hi, Luke. I hope you, my name's Luke. Pleasure is mine. Haven't met Luke yet. That's another person. Luke, single. Luke runs socket and pan electronics in his family's business, Hillside Manor and Vineyard. Ooh, dang busy. He's known for being a foodie and for his tendency to overthink things. Same. Same. Bestie, same. Hello, Randy. Never would have thought an oil company would move here. What should we do? I am on the case. Oh, that bug just ran away. She says she's on the case and literally lets a bug that she could be putting in the museum escape. I got that one though. Don't worry. We're gonna do it. Where am where where am I even at? Hold on. Yeah, no, I went the totally wrong way. I should have kept going over one more and then up. That's okay. No, it's not. We can't get out of here. Um, we'll have to go back down. You know what? It's fine. Let's go say hello to this person and then we'll go back around. Takiba! People keep talking about oil from puffer fish. They don't have oil in their bodies, you know? Maybe fish oil. Sweet baby. <gasps> There's a panda! Hello? Are you playing a flute? Just playing a flute? Oh, do you see this, Takiba? Do you see it? <laughs> What the heck? Um, oh, we can't go down this way. Okay, okay. That is um, probably a story point that we'll get to at some point. That is so cool. Oh, look at the little playground. Can I go down the slide? No, rude. What about this? <gasps> Fair, that's what I would actually do if I were on one of those. I get motion sick very easily. Finally made our way to the blacksmith. Let's go, we gotta fly? Heck yeah. Like, do y'all wanna fly in your museum? Probably. Uh, process geode or copper. This one, please. A bronze hammer? Oh, we found two. Insufficient gold. Okay, I didn't realize we found two. A bronze hammer? What? Very heavy. Oh, we can donate that to the museum? Let's go. Wait, did we actually meet the blacksmith? I don't remember. I think we did. Oh, Raphael. Oh, hi there. We tatten. Hi, Raphael. How are you? Hope you're doing fantastic. Um, where are you? Single and adorable. Raphael is a local blacksmith. He's reserved and prefers silence. Something that he considers a perk for his line of work. I feel that. Whose house is this? I love how we're just going into random people's homes. No idea. No one's home, but I'm just in their house. I'm just, I'm just in their home. It's all good. I'm gonna steal their trash. Let's go deposit these bugs at the museum as well as the artifact. So I definitely think that, yes, the museum is going to be the easiest place to start. Oh, can we go in Pufferfish? Oh, we can. Interesting. Okay. Babe Crawl Island, oil for all. Fuel this world. Think global first. Oh. No, thank you. Can I, like, sneak by you? Oh, I can. Well, who are you and what do you want? Reyna. Good day. How may I help you? 
by getting out of the town, bestie. Hello, Karen. Are you here to help us, Kate? Absolutely not. I'm here to trash your office. Interesting, I can ex inspect her desk. Human behavior for dummies. Interesting. Well, we'll get them out of there real quick. There's a lab. I don't think I've met anyone here yet. Uh, closed on Saturdays. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Everything's closed, but we should be able to get to the museum. Oh, hello. Do we know? We know them. Yes, right? Don't catch them with a the net, Kate. Oh, I can't talk. They must be serious business going on. Doing a heap of breathing exercises since that there pufferfish showed their true colors. Makes my blood boil, and I sure as heck don't take kindly to being all riled up. You're adorable. We can't talk to them. And I'm, like I said, still getting used to the player characters, so I, I may not recognize them. Listen up, from what I've heard, Pufferfish's MO, that's crime talk for one's particular technique. Anyway, they slowly push out the people out of the town they move into, and that was always the case. Okay. Archie is busy. You be busy, Archie. Do your homework, sweet baby. Well, there's Grumpy. I remember him. Hi. I like the hot cocoa from the coffee corner. Don't like coffee. Okay. That's fine. Kira. Oh, I don't think I met you yet. A farmer. Okay. I'm Kira. That's someone else we've met. We're slowly getting this all filled out. Kiara is a member of the... Oh, so you're with Mark with the BOS. An international group of hunters, she spends her days in the forest keeping an eye on the cavern. She doesn't celebrate birthdays. Oh, yeah. I got to keep a watch on... There's our town rank. We can only control the museum right now, it looks like. Um, and then where does it show me? Where's my calendar again? Don't know if it'll... Hold on. We'll have to go to like the town board. But let's go get these deposited real quick. So we can donate the fly... The bronze hammer, the beetle, and the butterfly. And we got a reward. We got some candy tree seeds. Let's go. Okay. What? Who is this? Hello? Oh. Yeah, I remember you. I just didn't recognize you. <laughs> so Pufferfish is here. That can't be good, right? Wait, why does it say I can give them a gift? Stop just holding an acorn. They'll start talking about you. Where was the the community board? You're still doing your homework? Oh my gosh. Dedication. Hello. Valentina. Hello, Miss Kate. Nice to meet you too. I'm Valentina. That's Suki's kid. Where's the board? Oh wait, I can meet you now. Uh, are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer. Is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer, though? All right, Archie. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. It's by Sam's, I remember now. The calendar. So tomorrow is Antonio's birthday and someone we haven't met. Oh, no. Um, We're going to have to figure that out before tomorrow, then. Oh, God. And then Aaron's no task for that. So who else haven't we met? We've got a little time. I can look and see. Is there are there 15 townies? Okay, everybody's at fish and fish and zip, so let's go. We'll at least meet two people that we don't know. Oh, she's hopping. Eva, we met them. To check up on Betty, gotta make sure she's alright. She was like so upset at the pufferfish meeting. I've never seen her so worked up like that. Yeah. Then we haven't met you, Macy. Hello to you too, I'm Macy. Where are you visiting from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. Well, I'm not a tourist, baby, I live here. And then you're the museum guy, Scott. People are telling me jokes about some company changing the museum into oil storage. Just a joke, right? Oh no! And we know you, Pufferfish, huh? I don't have too much uh, thought about them. Do you think they'll sponsor my sports team? Should I even try or is it lame? Uh, yes, bestie. I think it's lame. Ooh, we've got we got someone playing the guitar over here. Um, oh, hat. Kenny is busy. Wait, no, it's not Kenny then. Yuri is busy. Waku is busy. 
So who haven't we met then? My family's been freaking out about Pepper Shell all day. Honestly, on the fence on this one. Invested a lot in our rocket projects, and maybe they'll do the same here. Ooh. Pablo, long day today, Kate. Yeah, no. 100%. I hate that just because they're, I mean, I get not wanting to interrupt the game, but I want to be able to meet them all. Can't imagine what will happen to the ocean once they went ahead with the oil drilling. We must stop them before it's all too late. S one, two, three. Not me just like yoinking the mic. I'm in the mood for something crunchy. Are you telling me to get you something to eat? Oh, hi, Paul. I haven't met you. It's you. You're going to be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here then? By the way, you can call me Paul. I bet we just met the birthday. Well, then who else have I not met? Go talk to Frank. Welcome, welcome. Okay. My tavern is your tavern. What can I get you today? Okay, well, let me go actually order. Let's see if I can get Theo something crunchy. We got coffee, sake, pizza. Look at that pancake. Doesn't look like there's anything crunchy. I can't do that, but I think I may have found the birthday boy. So at least I can get them presents because I feel like that's just the nice thing to do <laughs> is to get people presents. Okay, let's see. I did. Okay, cool. So it's Paul and Antonio's birthday tomorrow. All right. It looks like though it's going to be time for me to head home, which means that we'll probably start up the next part with repairing our house. Wait, are they closed on Sundays too? Hold on. No, they should be open on Sunday. Okay, cool. I was like, you know how like frustrating this is gonna be if they're like, also closed on Sunday. Again, get your days of rest in, but like <laughs> the game needs to happen for me. Okay, so since we're home, I think I'm gonna do just a little bit more clearing while I have the time. Got a little bit more done. Let's go ahead and pop anything in here. Some stone, pine cone, sap. Trash. Do I have anything I can sell? Useful for upgrading tools. Oh, there was a bug we didn't get to donate. Oops. Um, okay. Doesn't look like it. I don't have anything I can sell to get some money. So we will need the wood. Is it 40 wood or was it 50? Uh-oh. It's 50. Okay, we'll go ahead and just so I won't forget the next time because I don't know when I'll get to play again. I'm gonna make sure I already have our stone and our wood in on my person so I don't have to run all the way back home again. Well, I was gonna end and like do my little outro but something else has come up. What is this? You hear a voice but can't make out what's being said. Hey. Try to focus on my voice. Happening. Good. Now listen closely. The sacred trees. Please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. <gasps> oh. Oh. This is so cool. Touch the tablet to summon them. They will open your eye. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go, Kate. You had a strange dream last night. What the heck? Um. <laughs> well, so it seems like there's going to be a little bit more on the agenda than go to the carpenter next episode. Um, Definitely going to be visiting those sacred trees and see what that's all about because we are going to get this island back to an A. Not even an A. We're going to go for A+. Plus. A++, plus plus, baby. Um, I love all of these characters with my entire heart and soul it's this game is just it's it's giving me like the warm fuzzies and i'm very excited to continue this story don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you all in the very next episode